Hey everybody, it's Skylar with Wonderful Memories Travel Company and today we're going to talk about the Maldives. So I've never personally visited the Maldives, but one of my very good friends, Vera, commented on one of my last videos and asked me to talk about this little cluster of islands in the Indian Ocean. So I've done a little bit of research and if you have visited the Maldives, please comment below and leave me some information, how you liked the Maldives, anything um, that you learned. I would love to know some more. So the Maldives is a cluster of islands that is in the Indian Ocean. It actually is the Republic of the Maldives. There are over 1,100 different islands. They're either inhabited by locals, inhabited by different resorts, or uninhabited entirely. So when you go to the Maldives, you're gonna fly into Mali, which is the capital place or location in the Maldives. And from there, you're gonna take either a bus or a boat ride or a plane ride on the water like the plane takes off on the water and lands in the water which is really cool i think i want to go that route um to your different resort these resorts can range from various prices going to the maldives is one of the world's top destinations over the past couple of years and it is beautiful there are white sand beaches crystal clear water you can snorkel you can scuba dive it's very highly recommended um, for anyone who's interested in scuba diving you can paddleboard you can jet ski you can go island hopping really these islands offer the ultimate beach getaway experience and it is extremely private in some different areas so how everyone knows or thinks about the Maldives are the over the water bungalows of course, those are private little villas that are over top of the water with their own private pool um, and dock like right outside. There are also options for villas on the beach if you're not looking to stay over the water. And then if you don't wanna be directly on the beach, there are villas that are in the gardens, the heartland of each of the resorts. So the price range to visit the Maldives does range. I would say a whole week in the Maldives probably looking at close to $10,000 on the lower end. And then for the other experiences, you're looking up to, up to like several, several thousand dollars, tens of thousands of dollars. So you'll definitely wanna save up for the Maldives. Um, the Maldives also has some interesting laws. One in particular that you guys wanna know about is you cannot transport liquor into the Maldives or alcohol in its entirety. They will check your bags, even your carry-on bags. If you do bring it in, it is prohibited. So don't bring liquor or anything into the islands. Um, another thing that you're gonna wanna know is the sunscreen and the sun rays. So it is extremely close to the equator. Actually, some of it goes over top of the equator. So you'll want to protect yourself from the sun. And then the best time to go to the Maldives, I personally would say like, November, December time period. The rainy season is June, July, um, and some of August. There are no hurricanes necessarily um, in the Maldives. It's monsoons that you need to be worried about. And again, the rainy season is kind of during the summer. Um, so I would definitely recommend going at the later part of the year. But yeah, if you guys have any more questions about the Maldives or any information that you wanna share with everybody else, go ahead and comment below. And I'll see you next week to talk about a different country.